Fiordland, what an epic mission. We got back late last night, about 10.30 at night. What a long day's driving. 12 hours on the road from Manapuri to get us home. But we're home now and holy crap, I'm excited to get this video started, but it's one o'clock in the afternoon. I've been on the computer all morning answering emails and messages and holy shit, that took five hours. Now, unloading the boat and then we've got to clean everything. This epic adventure is going to have to wait till tomorrow. Saying that, I bring you this epic adventure. Enjoy. Morning. Glorious day in Fjordland. We're sleeping in the boat. And Keith and Alex turned up last night in their little RIB, so we decided to come out for the boat, and there is not a breath of wind today. And because of that, the sand flies are on the boat, so we're going to go out to the hut and have a cup of tea. Ah, so wait, it's a bigger boat. I love this boat. This is a big boat. I don't want to go back to a small boat, but I'm going to, and it's going to be awesome. Because any boat's awesome. When you think about it. Another day in paradise. Time for a cup of coffee. Got some delicious breakfast. And then maybe today we'll find them big craze. I don't like eating the big crays, I think the smaller ones are tasty, but it'd be nice to catch one of those monster fjordland crays while we're down here. We can catch bigger crays over on the coast. Morning right. sunshine. Just in time. Cut me. What happened? Oh, we got a bleeder. It's the wrong toe to amputate. Damn it, it's the wrong toe. It's just a prick. Sam's got a really sore toe because he's <laughs> broken it five times and every time he puts boots on, it hurts. <laughs> We've actually got doctors at the hut. Do you guys mind amputating my toe? Um, sweet, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, Cut a long story short, it's year now that we're all keen for it, but they might lose their medical certificate if any of you guys tell on them. And I know there's one or two of you guys out there that tell on me for stuff. It's me. It's me. Makes quite good sashimi. Oh, lovely. Should we? Yeah, better be quick. Can I do it, Dad? Yeah. Well, stop where's, mucking around. Where's get my little gun? gun? Where'd you put his gun there, Charlie? That's right there. On the floor, Charlie. Oh, yeah. Quick, we're going over it. Pocket once. Load it. Oh, oh. I had this issue yesterday. Got a quick char right in the head, mate, right between the eyes. Oh, Charlie, you provided us breakfast. Lift it up, Char, lift it up. You guys are so kind. We are. You've been so awesome and helpful today, Charlie. Yeah. Thanks, mate. He's a legend. I will be a legend from now on. <laughs> what? I will be a legend from now on. Oh, good on you, mate. Good on you. We got distracted by flounder and paddle balls escaped. We've got a bit of a problem here because 
we've just got enough gas to go where we want to go, which is up. It's going to turn and blow southwest tomorrow, and it might funnel up that fjord. And if we're punching into the wind, we may not have enough gas to get back. Therein lies the problem. So we're a little bit concerned about that. We don't know whether to risk it and give it a crack or find somewhere else. I'm going with the risk it. I reckon if we just cruise at 2,000 RPM and ticky tour our way up, we'll be all good. And then it is meant to die right down later on that night. So we could always come out at night, which means Doug's got to go back to work a day later. Doug's boss, which is actually Doug, will be breathing down his neck. And if there's one thing Doug hates, it's breathing down his own neck. So. We're going to risk it. Fortune favours the brave. We're going to cruise up. We're going to try to get as far up the river as we can. So we've trimmed the engine up. We're just going to slowly make our way up here, dodging logs, and hopefully we'll find a nice campsite. We're going to camp here by hook or by crook. Fingers crossed it's going to be a marvellous campsite, not a shit one. Good, so far so good. We've actually come right up into the river and we're just slowly inching our way up the river. Doug's on the helm. Oh, it's looking good. So far so good. Maybe head right a bit, Doug. Can't believe how far up the river we are. We're way up. Oh, there's one. Spooked them. Uh, we found our spot. No, it's all right. You got it, Char. No, you hold it. Gone to the days of slave dad. Sam, could you hand me one of those ropes, mate? Yep. That one just there, that yellow one. Soon the tide goes out, about a metre, and these are tied real tight. Does the boat just end up like that? So you guys like a bit of action, don't you? <laughs> what do you reckon, Doug? I reckon this is a pretty good spot, mate. Mint, eh? Yeah, never been anywhere like this. This is awesome. Yeah, mate. Let him go, or what? Nah, let's yeah. eat him. Dong him on the head. Oh, you didn't even swallow it, did you? Did you swallow it, or is it? What? Can you please look out? <laughs> oh no, he's not. I can think I can see the hook sticking out of his mouth. Should I chuck these back in, Charlie? To avoid the eel slime on the boat, Charlie's crossing the paddleboard to the rocks to keep the boat slime free. Good work, mate. That's some good skill. You should jump on the paddleboard and get him to tow you around. Don't break that rod, eh? <laughs> Flesh that colour. Thanks for the knife, Troy Dando. She's coming super handy. Oh, 
Oh, cheers, mate. I can't believe there's no sandflies here. One or two. I don't, can't quite understand what's going on. Not sure if I filmed the process of the eel, but basically just oh, chopped it, chopped it into chunks, and then put a bit of sawdust in the bottom of the camp oven, put some rocks on top of the sawdust, put the trivet on top of those, chuck the eel in there, and then put a little bit of water and just cooked the shit out of it. So I steamed it, and then once those sawdust chips started smoking, then it just gave it a bit of flavor, Bit of soy sauce, some sweet chili, so good. Hunting time. Charlie is going bow hunting. Hopefully we'll peg him his first deer while bow. We shall see. Charlie's just putting a couple of arrows through his bow. He just cranked it up to 45 pound. Make sure it shoots good. And smack the broadheads on. Go find a good deer trail. I think we're just going to sit tight in a deer trail. See what happens. The only thing is, we got one arrow.
Yeah. Should we call it? Yeah. Let's go back, eh? At least we have a story. Good story. Another yearling. Just got this in the back straps. Me? Yeah. Oh, what happened, Charlie? So, what happened was we snuck up quite a bit. We seen deer snide. Oh, I held it. First of all, you said, Dad, should I put that? Start knocking an arrow. Oh, yeah, I was and like, Dad, Dad said, No, nah, we're too close to camp. I was like, Let's put an arrow in. And then I was like, No, nah, we're too close to camp. And then we snuck up like a little further and we seen one. So we both ducked down, Dad was getting his camera ready and I was taking the air out and it and then we were just about ready to we were just about to hop up that boosted. And what happened was we walked up a little bit more, air in the quiver. We seen one, I pulled it back and I let it go, there's sticks in the way. It was a perfect shot, it was about to go right in the boiler room. <laughs> But <laughs> the sticks are in the, the way. The sticks and a couple of fern leaves. Oh, it was nice. going to go right in the I boiler room. Let's just put that up there so we can put that on a hammock with the bows. It's so good having that gear loft, isn't it? I know. <clears throat> this boat, so much room in here, eh? I know. It's so awesome just being able to sleep in the boat with having to muck around and set up extra beds and. Just have that cooker there and I think we're just gonna stay here, not even go home. We'll give Doug the um, paddle board. And Doug can paddle board back to work. Yep. Yeah, and Sam can take the tender, the rowboat. Yeah. We should just pack up and leave tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Doug and Sam, we don't want to go. We could drop them off back at the pass, but then they've got to get back over and back and it's meant to start pissing down with rain. It'd be a different story up here if it was just pissing down with rain all day, wouldn't it? Because, yeah, yeah, we'd have to set the canvas tent up and have something nice and dry to dry everything off. Can't really light a fire on the boat to dry everything off. Yeah, it was so cool. It was awesome, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh -huh. It was like... Pew. If those flags... The ferns weren't in the way. Oh, mate, you should have just moved to the side, eh? I know. You know, now for next time, though, it's a learning curve, isn't it? If it's I a move, learning curve. If I move to the side a bit, ping. Never stop learning, bro. Keep learning. Yeah. All right, mate. Good night. Good night. See you in the morning. Downstream, bro. We're going to go downstream to where it's a bit flatter and uh, hunt down the side of the river. Sam's gone upstream with his bow. No doubt Sam could probably shoot 10 deer with his bow up here. It's just so awesome. The deer aren't used to humans. It's that time of year when yearlings are running all over the place. It's just. We nailed it. I wish I bought my bow that I broke. Next time I come, this is Charlie banging a deer with his bow. So close last night, eh?
across the deer so I don't slow down. But still keep cruising along and then when I spook one, I'll go into stalk mode and stalk it and shoot it. It's a bit different with the bow because when you spook one, usually you can't get close enough for a shot. So today we're going to boost it and then when we come across some fresh shit, down hanging around the area, but then we're going to slow right down and just sneak along. See if we can pick one. Sage, you should come down here where they've never been 80 and you should listen to the bird life. It's unreal. Heaps of birds, big mobs of kaka, bowboy birds, tui, the whole lot. The Orland is alive and well. Some, someone commented on one of my videos saying they were just down here in doubtful sound and they didn't hear any birds. I don't know where they were but there's certainly a lot of birds around wherever we've been. Heaps of birds. Made a bit of a cock up with gum hunting. I didn't bring any food. I'm just so used to boosting out and going all day without any food that I forgot about Charlie and he's hungry now. He's going to get hangry soon. We're about a key and a half from the boat. Don't know whether to keep going or to just head back to the boat and have some deep problem is we've already hunted the other side of the river. Sam's gone upstream. We can't really go upstream on the other side because it's too steep, so. And we can't get out until the tide comes in. Because at the moment we can't, we, you know, the tide's low tide, so we can't just jump in the boat and go somewhere else. Winds change again, now it's blowing downstream. Ah, I think we're gonna head back to camp. We're off. We're going to go cast to those fish we saw earlier on. Bit of a ripple on the water now, but we should be able to spot them still, hopefully. Fly fishing. <laughs> Ah oh, yes, the joys of fly fishing, I tell you. There you go. Short. Oh, for crying out loud. Need to hold that for me? Yeah, hold that for you. Stalking trout. Why <laughs> kai that's the trout parker, I think. Challenging the trout. 
Game on. Can't see any. Wonder where they've gone. They were bloody here this morning. They'll be here somewhere just cruising around. Perfect, look at that. If only there was a trout in front of it, he would have caught that. Right, we're going back to the boat. I'm calling it the trout just went past once and then that was it. We never saw him again and the ripple on the water is just making it too hard to spot him. So. We're going back to Deep Cove and then we're going to go over the hill back into Lake Manapuri or TR now? Manapuri. Manapuri. Lake Manapuri. And then we're going to go, I don't know what we're going to do. We're not going to make it home tonight. We may not even make it home tomorrow. We're just going to make it up as we go along. But Doug and Sam have to go back to work. Me and Charlie are working, so we might just stay down there working, I think. Troll graveyard. What have you got there, Charlie? Nine millimeter hand fired rim bag. Whoa! You load it in there, pull that in, cover up that. <laughs> cup of tea and we've got just enough water left in the tank for a cup of tea. So that's four of us, five days of Fjordland, what a boat. The DNA 730XHT. Sell the house, sell the dog, get a boat. And then there were two. 8.30 at night, we ain't driving home tonight, it's a 12 hour drive. We're gonna go somewhere. Good pies. Good pies. There's a great and a bloody fight around this whole world tonight. The battle of bombs and shrapnel rain. Hitler told the world around he would tear our union down. Our union's gonna break when slavery chains. Our union's gonna break when slavery chains. I walked up on a mountain in the middle of the sky. Could see every farm and every town. I could see all the people in this whole wide world. That's a union and a pair. Down, down, down. That's a union that'll tear the fascists down.
What a shambles. By crikey. A shambles. Good dog. Right, never a dull moment. We just had a bit of a calamity there of sorts. Bloody hell. So we just rolled over all my pass and coming down the other side, I realised that we didn't have trailer brakes, so we stopped. And because we're on the hill, we couldn't get the swing arm on the trailer brake out. Those of you who have used trailer brakes know what I mean. And so we wedged the wheels up and that still couldn't do it. And so we pulled into a little pullover area on the side and that did it. But then we went to reverse back up and the trailer brakes came on. So we had to put the trailer brakes back on and then we only just made it back onto the road with all four wheels spinning. Jack knifed the trailer, took the bloody trailer brakes, took the swing arm off again, put the trailer brakes back on and now we're going down the hill. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Bob was just telling us, this is Bob, Bob was just telling us that, uh, that to get the heavy machinery over for the Manapuri power station took 15 hours. So, yes. I'm just going nice and slowly down here. If we get out of control, just abandon ship. Hey, Charlie, don't get, don't, don't stay in the ship when this one goes down, all right? I'll grab I've got an axe and a lighter to cauterize it, if you want. <laughs> what about the incident? We've got plenty of anesthetic, we could just inject it. You'll Do you ever bring it with you? Yeah. You've got some local, we've got a bottle of Disarone. You, you put an injection in here, and an injection in here, you wouldn't feel it, and you could chop it off. It'd just be when it wears out. Oh. Why, is, why is it coming up? Why isn't... Why did why you want it off? I broke it. You... Tell, us a, um, tell us a bedtime story, Sam. Charlie, you tell it. <laughs> this one time out in Fiordland. Shut up! <laughs> when we went deer no, hunting. No, no, I'm telling it! Oh. <laughs> uh, what happened? This one time we're out in Fiordland. And I was peeing, and Sam came and drank it. He drank, how did that, I don't quite understand how that happened. Is that <laughs> happened, Charlie? He was like, no, don't pee it all out! And he died, and it <laughs> so what actually happened, Sam? Charlie's like, I'm thirsty. I'm like, let's get a drink from the river. <laughs> and I didn't tell him. Started drinking. I just started feeling the splash on my face. <laughs> and I looked up. And Charlie was pissing in the river. <laughs> Charlie. Mate, you're going to uh, get it. You're going to get it. Because I owe you too. Remember that time you pissed in the bottle of beer and gave it to me and no, I drank no, it? No, 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 because that was when you soaked me so bad with the jet boat. So bad. Oh, I got you so good, didn't and I? I knocked you off your feet, didn't I? Yeah, you did. I was on my feet. It's like two children. So you can't get revenge. Only Sam can. Oh, that was gold. Sam can only get revenge. Then John made by me drinking the river and he pees. I remember that. I, Charlie was in the shallow. He was being a real egg. And I come banging up in the jet boat and he was yelling and screaming at me. He was a bit hangry and I just turned it and just soaked him. I smoked him, knocked him right off his feet. I thought I'd killed him, actually. I thought a rock had gone through the jet unit and got him right in the head and killed him. But then he got up and it was fine. <laughs>